for your own health. When you recognize your, of your body, then there are certain things that we would like you to do as the owner. Certain things that your body needs that we would like you to make sure your body gets. One of the things that your body needs, the most important thing, is breathe all day, every day. You have to have oxygen. One of the things we suggest you do is get some plants and put them around. Almost every um, toxic gases, because of the participle board, because of the, um, the rugs, all of these synthetic materials that are used to build these buildings, outgas, what they call outgas. It releases gas all the time, and these gases are toxic. So if you get yourself some plants, some snake plants, philodendron plants, spider plants, any plants, put as many plants around as you possibly can. The plants will filter the air for you. Okay, now um, when you sleep, I know they say that you shouldn't sleep in a room with plants. The reason they tell you that is that if you're sleeping in a room for eight, you're getting an oxygen treatment every night of your life. And this oxygen is going to restore you and help keep you well. Remember, I'm trying to get you sick so I can get some money. So everything I tell you to do, you don't do that. Right. You say, say, oh, okay, they said yeah. take the plants out. Let me put some plants in. Let me put some more plants in. Make sure you have your air, your, as much oxygen as you can get from your plants. Um, you get oxygen from your water. Just drink plenty of water. Most of us don't drink a lot of water. And a lot of our conditions are actually the... Um, dehydration. Okay, so it, the more water you drink, the better off for you. And even, I don't know how many of you listened to Malika yesterday when she was talking about dreads. If you're trying to grow beautiful dreads, Malika said drink plenty of water because it's like watering a plant. It helps your, your dreads grow. So for no other reason, if you're vain, drink water. Okay? <laughs> as much, uh, we say natural spring water. Some people say um, distilled water. We believe out of dead water. It's good for you if you're doing a, a cleanse and you're fasting and you're trying to detox, then the distilled water will help remove um, heavy metals and all that other waste material that you're trying to get rid of. And so it might be a good idea once a month or once a quarter to do a fast and do your distilled water to help yourself cleanse yourself out but the rest of the time please drink um, spring water or some kind of purified water nothing out of your tap what um, is in your all of these drugs birth control pills chemotherapy pills anything any pill that anybody has ever taken is coming out in your water you don't want to be drinking that okay we know that, and the other side of that, keeping you from being able to have a baby, is that fluoride is an aphrodisiac. So it keeps you sexually stimulated, but you can't have babies. The other thing that's in there is chlorine. Chlorine is also a known um, biochemical warfare agent. So all of these things in the water is why we the water out of your tap. Um, in Los Angeles and certain other large cities, what the pediatri not pediatricians, obstetricians, when a woman is pregnant and she starts going to the doctor, the doctor will tell her, please don't drink water out of the tap anymore because the waters are just so terrible that they know it's not going to help make a good baby. Um, the other thing that we want you to remember is to make sure that your nutrients are providing you with nutrition. And we also want you to know that everything you hear, see, taste, touch, and smell is part of your diet. So when yesterday when Sister Kenya said she was not going to watch any more BET videos that are disrespectful to women, she's changing her diet. 
And what she's doing is helping herself heal. Because either what you're doing is healing you or it's making you sick. It's no, you know, nothing is neutral. It has one effect or the other. So if you're using cosmetics, ladies and gentlemen, because men use cosmetics too, right? Um, <laughs> well, if you open a jar of cosmetics and you wouldn't take it out of the jar with a spoon and put it in your mouth and eat it, do not rub it on your skin. Because if you're putting it on your skin, it's going to stay there. It's going to wind up inside of your body. So if that's the only way I can say it, that's the plainest thing. If you wouldn't eat it, don't put it on your skin because it becomes part of your diet. If you're listening to music, the music that we had yesterday, the drummers were awesome. That was healing music, okay? We start, everybody started dancing, right? You couldn't help yourself. It was uplifting. It was healing you.